But um, just briefly, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I'll just, uh, just I want to go briefly through my background so that you know that I've got some qualifications and have got some level of authority to be able to talk to you today. So I've done all these various things. It's a bit of a madcap experience. If we have a drink later on or maybe one night, I'll tell you why I did civil engineering first of all. Uh, as a 17-year-old, I went to Melbourne uh, to study civil engineering. As I say, lived on the border, three hours drive to Melbourne, six hours drive to Sydney. Um, so I went to Melbourne. And then, so I did civil engineering, finished that, and then I went off and did carpentry. And you kind of think, well, hang on, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> anyway, there was a good reason for that. And then I went on and became a builder, and then various sorts of contracting. Um, I then uh, have really moved on, I suppose, into this development management uh, role, project management, where I manage, rather than doing design consultancy work these days, I prefer to manage groups of consultants. Number one, because I like variety. Number two, because uh, I'm not that good at staying focused on the detailed work and becoming a real expert in that area. I'd rather you know, have a bigger scope of what I do. Uh, yeah, I've written a book. Um, I do consulting for a couple of groups, which I'll tell you about. Property development, speaking here. And I spent a couple of years doing investment banking as well, which I'll explain to you in a bit. Um, done lots of different uh, educational things over the time. University, formal education in these sorts of things. Um, been through all the Tony Robbins uh, University Mastery, I think he calls it. Uh, Mastery University, something like that. Date with Destiny and all those things. Some of you might have uh, had experience with those things. A lot of you probably have been in infamous groups. Uh, can you indicate by hands? A number have come through that path. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of great information there and great people. Uh, Ian Ugarde's programs, James Dawson. So I've been around a fair bit and done different things. This one is really interesting. I've learned uh, a lot from Dan Sullivan out of Canada. You may not have heard of Strategic Coach. He's got some awesome information. And I've, I've really learned some fundamental things that have helped me enormously around the areas of planning, uh, avoiding procrastination and those sorts of things. So just quickly, with regard to my experience, um, I, I built a specialist piling. Anyone know what piling is? Piling is, um, piling is essentially where you're putting deep foundations in place where the ground's crook. Okay, so if the ground's no good and you can't put your building straight onto it, then you either have to improve that ground and make it stronger, or you put piled foundations down through it until you find something strong. Okay, that's, that's in a simplified way. And the, the business I ran, I sold that uh, 11 years ago, but in the 10 years I ran it, we did 1,000 projects in Australia, um, and that was project values of about 5.5 billion. No, I didn't invoice 5.5 billion. Um, I would have liked to have, but I worked on projects. Now, my, my take on that is that if you've got a project, say it's a say it's a million dollars worth, say it's a hundred million dollars worth. But if that project is on a site that has got crook ground, bad ground, and you have to improve it, or you need a piling system, then the piling contractor and the engineer has got a fair lump of responsibility on them. So that's what I did for 10 years. I, I did these solutions here in Australia and different parts of the world. And through that, and having that responsibility on me, I take that very seriously, and always did, um, built up a, a lot of great experiences and a lot of great... Uh, work experience as well. So I did that um, work for all these people, all different companies, and did a very large project, uh, the, the largest joint venture project in China at the time. I worked on that project. Uh, Brisbane Floods, 2011. Did about 70 projects there as a builder and wrote a book on that. You can download that book from my website. Uh, it tells you how to put buildings together again after they've been pulled apart. Uh, it's a good overall uh, expose, I suppose, or, or um, technical book in terms of how residential buildings go together. I've done, la done land subdivision work. I've done a, um, a mining camp. This was up at Argyle Diamond Mines, actually. Uh, didn't come away with any pink diamonds in my work boot or anything, but um, worked up there in very tough conditions. It was 54 oh, sorry, 45 degrees for about 40 days. That was rugged, but great experience. And I've done num numerous, I've done seven uh, Toyota dealerships. And th these are worth probably anywhere between five and ten million dollars each. So I've done seven of those over the last eight years. I'm doing one currently, which is this project here up just north of Brisbane. Just literally finishing that um, in the next few weeks. And I do, so one of the things I do do is as a consultant, I consult to Toyota and I'm their development manager in Australia. So any of their dealers who have a project that they have to uh, do, whether it's a new build, uh, a rebuild, etc. They get me to 
help their dealers if their dealer needs a hand. I've done plenty of residential work. The property development in Brisbane I mentioned. Um, I pointed out these features earlier, but again, if you go to Lux Analyst, you can download the, uh, the plans, the specifications, the, uh, some marketing information, and the contract. You know, that's, that's useful information. Grab that if you want to. And there's also this time-lapse video, which I'll have to leave you to, um, to search for that off the site. You'll be able to access that straight away. But it shows a, a bare block of dirt being, and four buildings sort of rising up. And you'll see that I mentioned to you the problem we had over here in this front right corner. You'll see that that block, all the other three are all growing while we're sorting out the mess here on the front right block. And then all of a sudden it pops out of the ground as well. So um, That's our Facebook page. You can go ahead, property, uh, the, the handle is at Property Development Mastery. And if you go ahead and like that, we can stay in touch with each other. At Property Development Mastery. And then as I mentioned to you, you've got this um, book on my site. Please download that if you want to have a look at how buildings go together. I've also got this interesting thing here, little document I wrote, which is called How to Get a DA Site or a DA Approved Site, Development Approval on a Site, How to Get the Site Under Contract in Less Than 30 Minutes. You might think that's a bit... You know, ridiculous, but I tell you what, it's not. It's not if you've got your all your relationships set up and you've got certain things set up as well. It is possible to execute on a contract, and I'd be, I wouldn't be saying just go and buy a block, but you can put in Queensland what we call a conditional contract. You know, you might be subject to due diligence, satisfactory due diligence in a period of time, but you can get sites under your control pretty quickly if you set yourself up and you've got good relationships. And what I mean by that is, you need the relationship with your lawyer where you ring up and say. I need it. Here's a lot in RP number. We need a contract repaired straight away. Sign it and get it off to the um, agent.